I survived by a whisker. Those who attacked us came from outside the parliament. What should we even scare members uh, more that two televisions, NBS and NTV, always live stream. They have been put off the live stream. So can we legislate in that kind of environment? They are off. You can confirm that on the speaker. And I think it's adequate enough for me to now honorably take leave. Thank you. Uh, thank you. So, uh, hon honorable colleagues, the honorable uh, minister for security want wanted to give uh, an update on the issue of the attacks in Queen Elizabeth National Park. So, honorable minister for security, please. When you are communicating that effect our space, our house is not safe, that we are actually surrounded. They're surrounded by the military, including um, vehicles in which some of us were dumped uh, during the Toji Kwatako debate, and they are surrounding parliament, whether by your own instruction, whether by uh, the intervention of uh, external forces, uh, right, Lord Speaker, you've been speaking to decorum, speaking to order, and members speaking uh, and uh, talking and submitting under the rules. If the house is surrounded, that is a toxic environment, right, Lord Speaker. Right, Lord Speaker, it would be in the interest of this house that you use your uh, um, authority to ascertain the circumstances under which the house is sitting. And uh, if we are sitting under duress, right now, Speaker, then we have lost it as well, regardless of what the rules say. Right now, Speaker, that said, we had a meeting in your boardroom, my side and uh, the government side, to speak to the issues that obtained in the house over the last two sittings. And uh, when I asked you to take leave to go and uh, compare notes with my team, we have had uh, a conversation about the happenings and what took place in that meeting. Mr. Right Speaker, Mr. Right Speaker, we still have challenges, and uh, my side is still constrained to make proper progress. We have studied the order paper. I have informed them of your guidance and directive we still find a constraint that the other paper is starting on a fresh page as if nothing has happened. And uh, the recollection that we had an inconclusive debate over the last two days, and that uh, the debate does not augur and offer hope to a nation that was awaiting for the House of Parliament to sit and offer direction to this country as to the happenings, regardless of the altercations on either side of the House, right on the speaker. Mr. Speaker, my side is still demanding that this House will progress well if we have that debate concluded, Mr. Right Speaker. Under that, we are ready to play to the rules 
as long as there is respect from by either side of the house. Namely, that we find constraining that the government cannot commit, even after the statement was made, that there will be no violations. So my side is finding it problematic to progress with the business on the other paper without that matter settled, right on the speaker. Thirdly, that uh, you had guided that I'll make my official statement tomorrow, I'll be available to make a detailed statement relating to a whole plethora of issues relating to these violations, including unanswered questions from the Minister of Security, under whose docket citizens were abducted and they disappeared, the Minister of Internal Affairs, under whose pretendency violations continue, the Prime Minister, under whose pretendency there's no action taken on murders, on disappearances. I will make that statement tomorrow, right, Honourable Speaker. And that I give the House oral notice that we shall bring a motion with your indulgence next week to have these matters considered by the House, right, Honourable Speaker. In the circumstances, we are constrained to continue, right, Honourable Speaker. Um, thank you, Lop. Can I just conclude that uh, in compliance with the rules, because the rules do not constrain us from taking that decision, it's better than uh, um, putting the house on fire, right on the speaker. We are looking for uh, distance to prevail as long as people opening their eyes and ears to the afflictions of our people. This is not about these members. It's not about us, it's about the country. Right on the speaker, lastly, we are also requesting that uh, you reconsider the t sitting arrangement over the house. In the compliance with the rules, the, the arrangement hitherto undertaken by the speaker was okay, that members would freely sit. After all, we are legislating for the same people but he has been abused. I am unable to tell who are the people coming my side and smelling intoxicants and behaving in a manner I cannot control. I want to have a team that I can control. And when asked to account for the conduct of my members, I can make a full accountability. There are members whose conduct I cannot manage and I do not know them. I have no idea to their background. I cannot understand their motivation. That the right honourable speaker involve, invokes rule nine, that we are compliant to the sitting arrangement. That will help the presiding officer to observe and guide on decorum, right honourable speaker. Because from sergeant at arms, with regard to the issue of security. First of all, I want to make it very clear that I have not ordered for any extra security at Parliament and it's not necessary. There is nothing that warranted that. That's number one. And please, honorable colleagues, honorable colleagues, honorable colleagues, just listen. I have received this note. Right, honorable speaker. Security being referred to the security outside the parliament is an area under Kampara Portland Police. Parliamentary uh, and, and uh, they have received information, in fact, good information which they can tell us, that the extra security we are seeing out was intelligence information of road groups of people that we are planning to come to Parliament. Now, honorable colleagues, as a presiding officer, I cannot have powers over issues outside Parliament. My jurisdiction is Parliament. Okay? My jurisdiction is Parliament. And, uh, and uh, um, maybe if the minister needs to inform me if there is any extra measure they've taken, then I, I would be glad. Yeah. But inside the parliament and uh, anything to do with parliamentary security, 
we are still okay. Let us speak. Thank you for that assurance. Yeah. In a 2017, 20, uh, yeah, 2017, yeah, 16. I beg your pardon. I survived by a whisker. Those who attacked us came from outside the parliament. What should we even scare members uh, more that two televisions, NBS and NTV, always live stream? They have been put off the live stream. So, can we legislate in that kind of environment? They are off. You can confirm, that honorable speaker. And I think it's adequate enough for me to now honorably take leave. Thank you. Uh, thank you. So, uh, hon honorable colleagues, the honorable uh, minister for security want wanted to give uh, an update on the issue of the attacks in Queen Elizabeth National Park. So, honorable minister for security, please. Parliament I think our way to get it on a face is our winter. I will see again. Never in a chivalry say to reach our rejo. Ate Bonabona Bonap, but what they were saying, you governed the masks is a final gun. I give us a sink and university governor to Alia Manu. Our Guinea Abu, but would you kiss is a village to I tell about in Parliament, a kumi, and to government in a ring to be as an enemy in the end. Ne tugamba sujja kulinda bantu abo kutulumba kutukola ko bulabe ate tuuza speaker speaker na tutegeza anti naita bamanyi ne bali mukizimbe china ko obuvuna nyizwa entulege we we bedduka twali chiga kamyu chikasigazanga kai mid the speaker gabi entamanyi ate obo cha akola wochi so no ritual e una yon song ankulu e choko banti if you say you could the parliament, never go to the sang or love and rabbit the soul that you kill is a rubbish in a matter of deo to your children. Parliament is very clear. I want to work about it. Say, um, that what you have a cover console of what to speak a Gambian Nti naam pala wiki zimbe jino saji nti amagambie Nti Awantu wa wakiri wako wa kutemi gimila wala Taba vunanyi zibu wako Polisi ye kampala Iba vunanyi zibu wako Kakati fe Nafa wataba ina wako komandi Netuba wabulida Bano unye wala la iba gendo kumanyira Tujia kusigalanga insonge nujite wa kesila Kuwanga okutesa kwa mbaka wa parliament Ino kubela mumbe ilango Uwongo we utagulu kufuronji Ngata ina chunachi ye kengira Ila chijaliki ila mtu wakako Ono kurencha Tulo oza nti Speak okusawa kwa fana akulila Na tukilize chuwandi keje Tugo kete kuchiretewe Ate tulabebi la levi na achivamu Uwanga dada wanaba Uwembe ila iyo waka zama matu Okufawe ili government yeno Kuwanga balo oza nti huli nsonga jetuleta Baba eno kubwa kukubwa wangula Tukitiza nti nsonga ezi kwa taku kukwanga liya fe Sibuli kisee nti waluo aino kubwa ya wangulua 
Walu insonge zino tuga tanga ba na Uganda. Ba na fabe na arem. Ba balo wazani wichi ntu. Ba chila mbu wanguzi. Na petuwe tegese. Okubala ganti. Nandu wali tuliba tono. Netu jia kufana ko. Nga kamiu. A kamiu. Mpulugu meso ulo kalia. Nete kalira mbunyo na butungule. Kalira kotaka. Teso ulo kalia. Na yenu guna. Ne uomirua. Aa. So mbutono kwa fetu ino kuhirizibwa. Atentuwe wechitiwa.